But congratulations, Henderson County. This is the largest barbecue that we've had so far. And I want to congratulate you for coming out tonight. And because you did that, I have a reward for you that we've not had at any other barbecue. How many, quote, politicians can bring a person like Lee Greenwood? Lee, come on out here. So we called and uh, Jenny and I flew out to Nashville, met with Lee and his lovely wife Kim, right? Miss Tennessee. I don't know how you did that, but you did. You know, you know we're, 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 we, we both share something in common. Got trophy wives. We all get our coffee when, 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 when we married. Absolutely. And uh, I, I, I talked to Lee and uh, we, he agreed to work with us on our campaign. He's going home with me tonight. Tomorrow we're going to have our summer celebration and we're going to ride around together and watch people play golf and he's going to play Jimmy's Grand Piano for folks at my house tomorrow night and then we're going to have a concert with his uh, band on the lawn. It's going to be a great event. We're happy to have you here. Lee was in Atlanta, Georgia today. They were opening a Hall of Fame or National, uh, National Patriotism uh, Museum. National Patriotism Museum, where you are going to be honored today. Uh, right. And if, <laughs> if everybody crosses their fingers, maybe we'll sing for us tonight before yeah. we get down. I don't know much about politics at all, but I do know something. I know about people. I was raised in California on a farm, and I know struggle. The Smiths know struggle. And I will tell you something else. I've done a genealogy report on my family's history tree, and guess what? My family's name is Smith. <laughs> we'll talk about that more later. But I've actually, I've actually had a wonderful association so far with a, with a brief relationship with uh, Senator Smith and his wife. I will tell you that it's not about him, you're right. It is about the change in America that we need. It starts state by state. And I travel all the time. I was recently in California, my home state. There's some changes out there that's happening. There's some changes in Texas and in Florida. And there's people that I really believe in and support who can make change possible in just a city, a region, a state. And it's infectious. And as you begin to support the conditions of America, each one of us will have a vote that may change our future and for our kids. We have an awful lot to do, a lot on our plate. With the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, I just got back from my 18th DOD tour there. The soldiers are also fighting toe to toe with people who would like to kill us all. And we need people who will know how to take charge in an emergency. Fred Smith is one of those kind of people because he's been down. He runs the business, he's been military, he understands what it takes to take charge. And you will probably hear some of the same things from other candidates that he talked about tonight. People who would like to appeal to your very simple needs. Change, it's the same rhetoric everybody else gets. Uh, we need to funnel money here or there. We need to get smaller government, empower the people. But you know what? This guy will make it happen. He's true to his word, he's honest. Read his book. You will find out about him. He's a family man. And he knows how to take care of his people that surround him and support him. Go out and tell other people about it. Now they asked me, as I come in the door, they said, would you sing for us tonight? I plan here just getting on the plane and going to Raleigh. We actually made this stop. I didn't get any barbecue. I'm going home. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wrote a song in 1983. It has been a calling card for me and for my family. My wife directs the Miss Tennessee, Miss George USA pageants. She was a Miss Tennessee, as Senator Smith pointed out. And uh, the words USA resound around our house. My two boys sometimes sing it to me or just kind of hum it along. But I've had the chance to sing it with presidents and people who are 
veterans, military, and just common folks. You're common folks just like I am raising a farm, so I want to sing it for you, okay? If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause our flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Thank you very much. Support Fred Smith. Thank you all for coming tonight. However, there's one challenge for you. General Patton said accept the challenge and then feel the exhilaration of victory. Take these bumper stickers, put them on your car, accept the challenge. In November 2008, Fred Smith will be elected the next governor, and here comes Jenny. <laughs> I want to call and sing God bless America yeah. tonight. Here we go. God bless America. to the other side.